All right, end of module 2.3, oh, module two, the sit. So that was pretty short and sweet. 2.3, applying integer operations. So we are gonna use integer operations to solve real world problems. Um, so this means we're gonna do all the integer operations though. Okay, so we're gonna do multiply, divide, uh, add and subtract. So just the one thing I want you to remember, order of operations is that rule or rules that say which calculations come first. I know a lot of people like to say PEMDAS. I'm not a huge fan of it, okay, because we forget that multiplication and division are in order from left to right. Not multiplication first, then division. Same with addition and subtraction. A lot of people forget that it's addition and subtraction in order from left to right, not just addition, then subtraction. Okay, so it's parentheses, exponents, multiplication division in order from left to right, and then addition and subtraction in order from left to right. Okay, so... Remember from 1.4, right? When we have story problems, we want to make sure we read it, highlight the important stuff. So Hannah made four withdraws of $20 from her checking account. She also wrote a check for $215. For how much did the amount of her checking account change? Or by how much? And remember, the question's always important because it tells us what they want us to do, how they want me, us to answer it, do we need two parts, one part, always important. So the first part is that there are four withdraws. Remember withdraws is money being taken out, right? You're taking it out of your account. So we have four times negative 20 because we're withdrawing it. Now writing a check means I'm also giving that money to someone else. Right, so that is coming out of my account, right, writing a check. So we would then subtract 215. Okay, so you can see I've got multiplication in here and I've got subtraction in here. I don't have all four, but I've at least got a little bit of both. So first you just multiply these together. Four times 20 would get me 80. But remember from two, one, and two, two, that since they are different signs, I have to have that negative on there, okay? And that's also because I did four times 20, and then remember, it's telling me to take the opposite of it. So then I go minus, pen is not writing, minus 215. Okay, I would add the opposite because I like to see that they're both negative. And now I'm just gonna add these together because they're the same sign. So five and zero make five, one and eight make nine, and then two, but because they're both negative, it is negative. So it's negative 290, so her account lost, went down, whatever you want to say. Buy $295. Okay, because that's what I asked. How much did her amount in her bank account change? It went down by $295. All righty. So this next page, I want you to try. And like I said, it's your turn. So I want you to do eight, nine, and 10. Make sure you read the instructions for nine and 10. So this is where I would want you to pause, see if you can do them yourself, and then check with what I do. So for eight, Amber and Will are in line together to buy tickets. Amber moves back by three spaces, three times. She then invites, is invited to move five places up in line. Okay, I'm going to use kind of a different color because Will moved back four places twice, then moved up in line by three places. Overall, who moved further back in line? So 
we actually need two different problems or two different um, expressions. We need Amber's and we need Will's. Okay, so Amber's would be, she moved back three times. So you could either do negative three by three or you can do, oh, I was trying to change, keep the color. That's not a pretty color. All right, I'll do Amber's in red. Three times negative three. And then remember she moved up just five spaces. Then we have Will. He moved four places twice and then moved up three. Okay, so three times three is nine, but it is negative because of the different signs. So negative nine plus five. And then we would subtract nine take away five is four and it would stay negative. So she's at negative negative four. Okay. And then, so we've got will four times negative two would be negative eight because two times four is eight different signs. And then plus three. And then we subtract because they're different signs. So eight take away three is five, but because eight has a neg has the larger absolute value, will is at negative five. So he's back five spaces. So our answer would be, we moved further back, look at me, I made sure I checked my aunt question. We would say, well, will moved further back. All right, for nine, it says evaluate each expression, circle the expression with a greater value, same with 10. So negative 10 divided by two would get me negative five. And then negative five, add the opposite with negative two, would get me negative seven. Negative 28 divided by four would get me negative seven. And then negative seven plus one would get me negative six. And then it says circle the one with a greater value. So you would go like this. All right. 42 divided by negative three. So this would be negative 14. And then negative 14 plus nine. So I would subtract and 14 take away nine is five, but negative 14 had a greater absolute value. So negative five. And then we've got negative 36 divided by nine. That is negative four. And then I'm gonna go add the opposite. And negative four plus negative two is negative six. And so we would circle this one. Okay. I feel like I should have written these down here. So I'll do a quick, all right, negative 10 divided by two, negative five plus negative two, negative seven, and then negative 28 divided by four, negative seven plus one, negative six, 42 divided by negative three is negative 14 plus nine, negative five, and negative 36 divided by nine equals negative four. And then I went plus negative two got me negative six. Oh, not 16. All right, so then I did put this slide back in. Um, so things to remember, you know, multiplication and division in order from left to right. Addition, subtraction, in order from left to right. And then what questions do you have? Did you still need explanation on a problem I did? Do you need still explanation on order of operations? Um, do you have any questions about order of operations? 
put your questions. I want to address them. Um, and make sure you fill out your form. And then also there is an online assignment today after this as well. It's a 2.2 homework. It's on Go Math. I posted it in your guys' information. So don't forget about that too. All right, see you next time.